Hello and welcome back. My name is Amul and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install JDK 14 Early Access Builds on Microsoft Windows 10. However, if you have Windows 7 or 8, you should not have any issue following these instructions in order to install JDK 14 Early Access for that matter 13 or 11 as well. So the only requirement is you need to have 64-bit architecture, system architecture, the operating system and the processor as well. So to check whether you have 64-bit architecture, you simply have to look at the keyboard and on the left bottom, you'll see a Windows key and on the right top of the keyboard, you'll see a break key. So press both keys together, Windows and break. And you see you've got all the information about the system you can also go to control panel system and security then system you will be on the same page here now you can see system type 64-bit operating system and you can see uh, processor is also 64-bit now I can go ahead and close it so this release this is basically early access it's not officially yet released so in case if you're looking for official like more um, stable version of features of jdk you can go ahead and go for 13 12 or lts 11 as well you simply have to click on these links and you will be landing on that particular jdk download page so the the URL is very simple. You simply have to go to jdk.java.net. I will leave this link in the description below. So once you are here, and this is for 14, okay? You can change it from here as well. If I change it to 13, it will be landing on 13 general availability release. But for this video, I'm to I'm going to download and install 14, which has few deprecated features and new features added but it's not yet officially released so it's just early access also called beta so you can look at these uh, features that are going to be added and features that are being deprecated as well so okay these are deprecated for removal and this is from jdk i guess 8 and this is not going to be available in 14 so that that those are the types of things you need to definitely check here on the release notes before you start using it for production so here we are so go ahead and download the 64-bit zip folder of jdk 14 for your system I'm going to save it on my desktop so select the folder location where you want to save it and then hit save button what I've done because it's a huge file big file size so I'm already have I have already downloaded it going to cancel it and it's saved on my desktop so here it is open JDK 14 now I have to unzip it okay so simply go ahead and right click extract all if you've got any software there is going to you know speed up the extraction process you can use any software of your choice or you can simply use windows inbuilt extract all feature uh, feature that comes uh, pre-built here we go so we've got everything here so that's all you need basically this is the folder that we need now and so what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to, you can copy this, okay, you simply go ahead and copy this JDK 14 and then go to C folder here, the C drive, this PC and then C drive. And you can paste it over here in the C drive or you can create a folder and say it like Java. And within the Java, a lot of people will do this way. So basically, they will go in here in um, 
program files which is specifically for 64-bit operating systems uh, operating 64-bit uh, architecture software so anything that is 64-bit like any software that is 64-bit goes under program files so here we have I just created this Java folder in here let me quickly go ahead and show it from starting a lot of people just as don't find it very easy to do things that way I'm doing here so basically once you're here in this C sorry this PC section go ahead and open this C drive or D drive doesn't matter then you go under program files create a folder name so that's feature security feature just say continue name whatever you want to name it I'm going to name it Java once it's created you already have copied that JDK 14 folder go ahead and paste it over here say continue this is administrator uh, kind of security feature so you need to have privileges admin privileges in order to down, uh, copy and paste files and folders within this directory C directory so here we are specific specifically this program files once it's here we can go ahead and set this JDK to the system path it's been just added to this um, C drive folder but it's not added to the system path so if I go ahead and say Java it won't recognize it Java C it won't recognize it so what we need to do we need to go ahead and copy this bin folder so very simple go here open it and this is how you add Java JDK to the system path so you go to this PC C drive wherever your Java is installed so program files Java then under JDK 14 or 13 or 11 whatever it is then go under bin and then simply copy this location once it's copied once it's copied go to this um, start menu and type variable okay so once you've copied this bin location for your JDK go ahead and click on start menu and type variable now here you'll see it says edit system environment variable open it and then go to environment variables and under system variables go ahead and select path hit edit and then say new just paste that bin folder location hit ok hit ok hit ok now if I go ahead and restart my terminal the command prompt make sure you restart it okay otherwise it's not going to pick any changes that you've made so now if I say Java it is being recognized if I say Java space hyphen version it's recognized you can see it says open JDK version 14 EA that means early access if I say Java C space hyphen version uh, it says Java C 14 EA that means it's been installed it has been added to the system path as well if you go ahead and create any Java application you simply have to use this Java C to compile it and then Java to run it so that's basically how you install it let's quickly go ahead and create a Java uh, program compile it and run it so what I'm going to say I'm going to create a file and I'm going to say hello dot Java now you can go ahead and create the application that you want to and once it's created you can go ahead and compile it and run it so let's quickly do it all right so this is how I just created a hello application and I'm going to launch the command prompt so here we are I've got command prompt open with from this folder here 
Now I can go ahead and say Java C hello or Java to compile it. That means it's been compiled. Now I have to say Java hello. This is how you can run it. So this is compiler and this is Java run environment. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. Thanks and have a good day.